And the pace truck pulls off the backstretch exit. Purvis and Griffin in charge of the field. Bernsky Jr., Logan, Wallen, Parker. Flying Brian Nestor, the winner of the Academy Auto Parts Fast Qualifier Award. And Bobby Hank, and here they come. The Greek play is out. And we start off and run. Purvis, no. We're not off and running very long. As Jim Butler spins into the grass in the infield. I believe that is the 91 machine of Sean Gray. They got together even before they got to the start-finish line. And they went into the place where they really don't want to tonight, into the soup down there in the infield. So we'll flag one to go and we'll drop the green and try to get this thing started again 50 laps for the top speed modified all on Hoosier racing tires tonight oh the cool brake fans the VP racing fuel some of the sponsors that help the top speed mod do their thing week in and week out as they travel the tri-state area Purvis and Griffin Obrinsky Jr. Logan Wallen Parker Nestor and Hank any one of these eight cars are top shelf cars keep an eye on the whole field the guys out front really are going to set a blistering pace I'm sure with the dry track now Purvis gets on the throttle early. Griffin, better start this one. And they're going to go wheel to wheel. Derek Griffin gets a good bike, forward bike coming out of two. Purvis is not so fast, but we're going to make this thing wheel to wheel first lap race. Purvis got half a car at the line. Third line's on the inside. Again, Griffin rolls through the corner well and gets a nice forward bike coming out of two. Brinsky Jr. in third, Logan in fourth, Jeremy Wong puts his nose in for that fourth spot. Ryan Bryant thinking about getting to it on the train, getting underneath Logan while he's got a chance. Griffin on the outside, out forward by about a wheel. These guys are nerf bar to nerf bar, looking good. Dead heat at the line, three in. Kirk Newland. Up and out of the way and hit hard by flying Ryan Nestor. As Newland was heading for the pit area, he was up, out of the way, and more. Carnage coming through as Damian Lido gets hit and spun and turned around. So we got us a little bit of a mess. Flying Brian Nestor comes to a stop over in turn four. Kirk Newland in the entrance to the pit gate. And I believe Damian Lido over in three. So the safety crews and the tow trucks never got quite a bit of work to do and we've got three laps in to make sure all the drivers are okay. Indiana on the inside, Michigan on the outside. Here we go, stand on a loud pedal. Griffith gets some good forward bite and he gets out front early. Brinsky gets through and rolls through the center real well. Purvis does not get a good bite going through one and two. He drops the fourth. Occupancy looking to the outside, Logan to the inside. Jeremy Wallen using that chrome horn, letting old Brinsky know he's back there. Griffin with the lead. Logan flies under Occupancy, got him loose a little bit. Hang, oh, contact. Parker gets it to Allman. Allman backs up and... Phil Massage gets collects him. Jerry Hammond just hits the binders and stays out of everybody's way. He stopped up there, but I don't think he's involved in the crash. And again, caution on the speedway. You stop on the pedal purpose. Don't get a good start at all. The outside wall and dive on it hard on the inside. Loses grip. Obrinsky gets a good jump coming out of two. Pinsky to the outside, Purvis trying to make up for his mistake in one lap, did find his way in the fourth. Wallen still down to the inside. Obrinsky well, Jr.'s car handling pretty good on the outside, rolling through one and two, gets to the center, and out real well. Wallen in hard, using a lot of brake to get in that corner. Occupancy and Logan go to the door for the fifth spot. Wallen gets in a little bit hot this time in one and two. Runs a Brinsky up the hill a little bit. Takes the second spot away. Monroeville and Anacar now. 
looking to chase down Derek Griffith. Turned around the 25 of William Pennington on the back stretch. Okay, we're going to leave them single file since we seem to be having trouble getting this thing rolling. Starting two by two just doesn't seem to be in the cards of the top speed mods tonight, so we're going to start them just as you see, and the lineup is right. Griffith on the loud pedal, walling right behind Will Brinsky Jr., Purvis Logan Haynes, Akapiti, and McPherson. Junior push a little bit in the center. Curvis looked low, no room at all. Griffith gets a better grip coming out. And we got one spinning in the infield. We're going to keep it green. 79 and Tom Kuhlman into the grass. Two experienced competitors in Griffin and Wallen out front start to stretch the distance between second and third. He's got a good 10-12 car length lead on the third spot of Brinsky Jr. Purvis fourth, Logan fifth, eight, six, Ox 57, and Pearson eight, ninth, the M1 of Butler who took a little bit of a spin early in the race. Recovered nicely to get into the top 10. Stringer 10th, Bott 11th. Dave Lyman gets around Jerry Hammond for 12. And here comes the lap traffic already. Brent's going to get lapped. Two more guys into the pit. Hahn and 25 of Pennington. Eric Griffith starting to get in the rhythm now. He's got about six green laps in a row. Guys will get their time in there, hitting their marks well. Martin French going to call it a night. He slides into the pit area. And Jeremy Wallen falling back about six or seven car length. Perhaps saving some tires for a run a little bit later. As many yellows as he had, I don't think he's in a real big panic to get up front anyway. Purvis still running fourth, Logan fifth, Haying sixth. Best racing on the speedway right at the minute. The Bob Kruger match up here for the tenth spot. Get a little bit in. Haying gets loose into the grass through a little landscape work. He gets out. We're going to throw the caution. Kruger sideways and backwards in two. again. Good clean start through one and two. And Griffin shows that forward bike. Gets out of the corner in a hurry. Wallen gets in way, way better. But Griffin is getting out better. Brinsky Jr. is actually kind of loose in, having to almost bring the thing to a stop before he can get back in the mouth of the purpose. Gains on him every time. Now decides to try a lane that could get interesting for the third spot. Again, Bob Kruger going to go at it again. Mark Bob is going to stick his nose up underneath him. Good move by Mark Bob in the seven machine. That'll take over, put him in the top ten. Dave Wynum, the NBA martial arts machine, going to try and buy a ticket on the train. Kruger shuts that door. Griffin can start to stretch that lead out on Wallen. Brinsky Jr., Purvis, and Logan, your top five.
slows, loses two or three spots. On gets underneath him. Coleman's going to be the next to pick him up. Coming along before lap traffic. Coming to play here. Drift on the wall and O'Brensky in purpose. All going to have to deal with it. Dave Weiner's on these cruisers. Going through three and four. Up for 11. Logan Parker after a pit stop. Starts picking off several cars from the back heading towards the front. He's working toward a good stop pit finish. With 23 in. 27 to go. Make that 24 and we're almost halfway home. Gary Hammond looking underneath Kruger. Gary Griffin likes that low line, almost doing a little landscape. He's going to up tires. He goes through three and four. He'll come up on lap traffic soon. Wallen gets into the corner a little bit hot, gets the deal to push. Parker underwinding to the 11th spot. Halfway in, 26 in now. 24 to go. Any underneath him. Racing for the spot. Box 47 machine moves up one. And we're going to watch the lap traffic. And Griffin goes to the outside of Kuhlman. On high on the racetrack. He's going to go into the pit area. That was a hot spot earlier in the night. Griffin clears traffic well. Wallen follows him through pretty quickly himself. And Jeremy in the second spot. Didn't gain any, didn't lose any. Kruger and Perk Pelkey is going to be the next guy on the radar for your leader. Kruger must have some towing issues. After running a good and solid first half of the race, that car is not handled at all for him. Next time by the white 95 will be 30 in at 20 to go. Gary Griffin, still your leader, hitting Mark Well. Likes that low line, gets through the center and out. Well, I've said that several times. That car is on a rail. Doesn't get in hard. He's lifting a little early just to take advantage of that roll center. Out. Doing an excellent job so far. 34 in. 16 to go. Jeremy Wallen doing a nice job. Running second. They have stretched out the gap between third and second and third. Walter Brisky Jr. doing a good job. Kyle Purvis. And Dan Logan, Bobby Hanks still trying to figure out a way to get around Logan to get a podium finish in the red and yellow five machine. Akapinti running seven. He's finding his way through traffic well. The 13X is John McPherson. And a pretty good match so far. Out front, the South End Indiana machine at Derek Griffith. Making it look easy for him. Every wall doing everything to do to keep up with it, but the gap is still a good half a straightaway. 38 in, 12 to go.
traffic coming into play. Griffin doing a good job getting through traffic. The guys doing a good job getting out of the way when Leo says, hey, going to wave the layover flag for you. Just a dot underneath Mark Fox. Jeremy Long picking the high side. Going to pick a couple up. Uh, Coleman and Gray here are his next two cars. He's going to sail around. Gets around the boat very cleanly. And the guys have been driving through traffic well. Once we got this thing rolling, they've done a really nice job. 43 in, 7 to go. better of his two corners. He gets into one a little bit loose. He gets back in the throttle fairly early and drives right through it. 45 in, five more to go. Logan. Logan got loose. Bobby Hank is waiting the whole race to make that move, and he does with three laps to go. So Hank moves into the fifth spot, and Logan drops back to six. 48 in. Two more. As long as Griffith doesn't have any trouble with traffic, he's working on Logan Parker currently. He's got the M1 of Butler. Both guys are fairly quick cars. Griffin has no real need to get by him, but he's going to mix it up with him a little bit. That might be a dangerous move. He's got one to go. And some of the weird things that happened during this race hopefully don't happen here at the end. Derek Griffin through three and four. He is going to be your winner. The 95, Derek Griffin, Jeremy Wallen comes home second. Obrinsky Jr., T3, third. Kyle Purvis, fourth. Bobby Hayne got a nice move in lap 47. Getting up to Dan Logan is going to be your top five. <laughs>